Let's start to explore Aurora HDR by working with a single image. Now, normally a bracketed workflow is desirable, but there are amazing things you could do with any image by just bringing it into Aurora HDR. To start, I'll click the Open Image button, and let's navigate to Folder 1, Single Image. In this case, you see a long exposure photo that was taken along the shores of Nantucket. And it's a sunset, but it's difficult to see all of the detail in the image. I'll click Open, and Aurora HDR tells me a little bit about the image. Now, in this case, from the Settings menu, you'll see a couple of options, including the ability to remove color noise, which is generally good if you're working with lower light situations, like this image here, so I'll leave that checked, and the ability to remove chromatic aberration. Now, this particular lens isn't going to show much chromatic aberration. That's because I'm not using a longer telephoto lens, and I'm not shooting in a high contrast situation, so there's no need to check that box. So now I'll just click Create HDR. What happens is Aurora analyzes the RAW file and looks inside for the best details. What's happening is it's digging into the RAW file and attempting to find the best exposure for each section. It's essentially going to analyze that RAW file and be able to pull out the most details. This takes a little bit of time but generates some really cool results. Now we see the image on screen. And as you can tell, it's done a great job of bringing out the details. Now, we'll talk more about the controls later, but let's switch to a basic preset collection here. And in Aurora, these are called looks. I'll choose the landscape category, and I see some nice options here, such as realistic landscape or enhanced landscape. I like that. Cool landscape changes the color temperature or a better sunrise which I kind of like, but I'm just going to back that off slightly so it's not so warm. And you see with that simple amount slider, it's easy to tweak. Now, any of these previews down here really give you a good idea of what's happening. And remember, using the amount slider, you can blend the original image with the preset adjustment to dial in the correct setting for yourself. Now, I really like what's happened here. If we look at the before image, and the after image, it's amazing how much detail Aurora was able to unlock. Now, there's a lot to all of the adjustments here on the side, and we'll explore those more later, but let me show you a few that I really like. Under HDR Basic, the use of Smart Tone is a great adjustment for properly balancing out the exposure. It's an easy way to nudge the exposure one way or another without seeing major shifts in detail. In this case, I like this just a little bit darker. Then, from the HDR Enhance section, I can deal with the overall image. Adding in a lot of clarity if I want more definition there on the sky, or perhaps a little bit of smart structure, which puts a little bit of depth into the clouds and those scenes. That looks great. Let's invoke the Crop tool here, and I just want to get this to a delivery size. So I'm going to choose uh, 7 by 5 and just tighten that up ever so slightly and set the composition where I'd like it. Click Done and the image is developed. Now what we can do is press F for full screen and we can easily see our image with no distractions. And in this case, the photo's done. 